Good morning and sliding into afternoon. Judy Allen here in San Antonio, Texas, also known as Nana. So today I'm going to be teaching you about alternatives already made and alternatives we're making today. Because it's a cute, fun kit and it coordinates with a cute, fun suite. So with that, let's go down the hands and let's get started, all right? And if you want to get your paper pumpkin kit for March, that's going to have two stamp sets in it you need to order it today i put the link here in this in the with words here and today's the last day to order it if you want to get it with two stamp sets so there you go Ooh, let's go down those hands yes so these are this is made from the kit this is made the kite was made from the kit and it coordinates with a fun set and we again this kite was made with the kit this is one we made. It's got all kind of components from the kit. And I'm going to make a similar one today to show you how easy it is. And these are all from the kit, right? Look at here. These here. These are from some classes I made yesterday. I had a morning class and an evening class. And we made some of these by combining the this stuff from the kit as well as materials from... This is this was there's the materials from Rain or Shine. Yep. It's just fun, fun, fun. Look at all the fun. So this is all fun. And there you go. This is also made from mostly from the kit. But we added this here is new. Uh but that wasn't from the kit. And this piece of paper right there. The rest of this was from the kit. Just to show you some cute things I've already made from the kit. So I'm gonna use this one here that we made in the class that's similar. And I'm going to show you how we did it, okay? So in the kit, I've gone ahead because I give all of my customers and team, I give them coordinating uh, card stock, right? That goes to the kit. So I've already put this together. This is Daffodil Delight, and this here is Balmy Blue. So I went ahead and set this up this far for us, okay? Here, this is nothing more than the envelope that I've sliced and diced. And I've shown you that... If you didn't see it previously, here it is here. We usually have something in there. I always use like to use envelopes. You just slice off the edges here, open it up, and we cut on the score lines and to get them off and out of the way and then size it to whatever size we need it to. So this here is actually a three and three quarters by five inches because I have this balmy blue here I'm gonna put here. So I'm just gonna put this down with adhesive and I made sure to put this down here at the bottom unless you wanted it at the top. I didn't, so I put it down at the bottom because we covered up, and you'll see that in just a minute. So yes, if you're out there, say hello. We, I'm thinking, I'm not sure when our next uh, freebie Friday is, but it's got to be coming up soon, right? So all we do is pull from the names, people that make comments here, and emojis, and do it on Facebook, uh, YouTube too, right? Because we pull from all that. All right, so this is the envelope. Here is. Uh, die cut that's in the kit so I'm just gonna put this here put some adhesive on it and we'll get this down there you go so we're gonna build from here all right so we're building this right here so all I need is a chick and I don't have my check. Let me get a check out of the kit here because I have checks. Uh, so let's see if I have one already die. Punch, uh, let's see if I have one punched out already. So I put all my little, so I, I tried to punch it all out and have it, all my stuff together so that I'm ready to create. No, there's another check. Let me get another check. Uh, go through my stash of leftover stuff. Oh, there's a kite. I was looking for an extra kite. I'm always looking for kites. But right now, I'm looking for a chicken. No, 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 no. Let's see. We're still looking at this stash here. Oh my gosh. There's no way I used all those chickens. Alright, I might have to improvise and do something else since I can't find a chicken. And I thought I had a chicken out. It's a cute, sneaking little chicken. Alright. Let me dump this all out here. Make sure I just miss my chicken. Just 
Got all my clouds. So it's got, you know, it's got the turtle. You know, I can use the turtle. Oh, there's a chicken. Yay. All right. So, I knew there's more chickens. I'll just put that aside there. So, all I did with this is I just put the chicken like right here. So, I'm going to recreate some of this, but I'm going to do my kites different colors just to show you how easy this is to do. So, I'm going to put my chicken down here. Little baby chick. You know, somebody yesterday in the classes I, I did said, you know, this would make cute Easter cards. They, well, it could be, right? You're just changing the sentiment is all you're doing. So, then I'm going to put the rabbit over here. And I put the rabbit up on just regular dimensionals. And I'm just going to put one at the top over here because I'm going to take the string. We're going to put some string with some kites, right? Because we talked about this yesterday in the class. I don't know if you've flown a kite. Some people might not have flown a kite in a while. But when we include kites, this was a kite, which we're fixing to stamp a color on. This was the string coming down with the kite that you put little bows or tied something on it to help give it some way to help it there. And then... You sit there and have the string, right? You have the string coming out that you're holding on to in your hands. So we are going to actually do that. So we're going to first stamp these right here. And I've brought different colors, just some nice, cheerful colors. So the one that you see here, I actually has a combination. These are actually die cuts from the Rain or Shine Suite. And I didn't do that today. I want to just do this mostly from the kit. Just to show you different ways we can do the same thing, right? So this one is Flirty Flamingo. This is from a leftover paper pumpkin kit. So I tell people to always keep, right? Keep your leftover stuff. Keep your leftover spots. Because you figure if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber for a year, just is at the end of the year, you'll have at least usually about 12 colors or more right because some sometimes they surprise us with two colors in one month which is a very nice surprise right okay so that's one kite next kite is going to be this bluish color it's called coastal cabana and i am missing the beach I feel like i need some beach time no matter what right so this is sort of cool because when you stamp this this is from the kit it just lines up. You've got this. They've already got it with the black on it. So you can easily line this up. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to use a green. I would tell you it's, it's Granny Apple Green, right? Yes, Granny Apple Green. So if you wanted a brighter green, I would use Parakeet Party. It's just a little bit brighter. So it just depends whatever floats your boat on that particular day. And there you go, right? Today I'm into my bright colors. You know, and I got more colors that I can use to. And I just line it up right there. Okay? So there you go. So that, that looks a little bit darker, but that's okay. Right? It's all about having fun. You know, we talked about this yesterday in the classes. And that is, is that there's so many different kites right out there you can do. So, we're going to line this up, and we're just going to get an idea where we want our kites. And we're going to go ahead and put dimensionals on our kites. And I put, I'm just going to put some lower dimensionals on this one. Some mini dimensionals. Which, again, it's all about, you know, keeping all your leftovers from previous kits. Because you'll have plenty of leftovers. Hello, hello, who's ever out there. So it's funny because, you know, it's one of those things like right now, I can see you're out there, but I don't know who you are. So unless you like put an emoji or a comment, I don't know. I don't know. So sometimes people think that the, can the screen's right in front of me. It's not. It's like over my right shoulder. So occasionally I look over that way to see if anybody's out there if I need to make a comment. But that's not always the case, right? So there you go. Oh, I took that off and I wasn't really ready for that. Okay, that's okay. I'll just go ahead and put this one right here. Okay. So it's just going to, we just got the little chick here looking at the kites. And we could just as easily put them right in a row. You know, I could do that here, but I already put the chicken down. So the baby chick. Chick, chick. And I can put this one over here if I want to do it just similar to what I did already, right? 
So the length of the kites, you're going to have to trim them up a little bit because they're really long depending on what you want. But you can easily adjust the rabbit, right? So I can easily put the rabbit here, put this other kite here, and then we'll just swing this other kite. Let's just tighten them up a little bit. I'll tighten them up a little bit. Well, okay. Yeah, we'll do it just like that. Okay, that'll work. Now we can put our rabbit here. Okay, so this one's already down. I'm going to put this one down here. And then we'll get the other one. Now, on my other kites, not the one I just showed you, but I did put some little bows on it. And that, that is actually from the Rain or Shine Suite, right? They have little bows you can sit there and do and put on your kite. And I'll show you what that looks like. I didn't put it on this, but I, you know, I reserved the right to go and put it on here. But see here, I've got a bow right here. Those just came out really cute. I'm trying to see if I saw another one here. So here's another one here too, where you can just go put the little bows on the kite, right? So I, did, I didn't do any for right now, but I can, right? It's all about having choices and be able to do those things. So all I'm going to do is just put this right here, and I'm just going to put our rabbit right here. So it's going to look like right about there is what I'm going to do. Because I can cut off the tails, right? So you can make any changes you want. And it's easy to add string. So when I added the string, all I did is come along and I just put a dot of glue right, oops, right in the center, I was going to say. It's got a little bubble there. It's okay. And I just put a little dot. Okay. Then I'm going to come, I've already pre-cut the string, so if you wanted to do the string here, it is four inches long. And with four inches, I can easily have wiggle room to come across the hands of the rabbit. So it looks like the rabbit is holding on to all the kites. I don't know about you, but when I was a little girl, I flew kites. I, I flew kites as an adult too, but still do but as a child i remember you know sometimes people get tired and they leave me with their kites to hold for them and i would and so i'd have to hold on to them or i'd have to put it on a stick and put it in the ground so that's what you did right so this brings back good memories for me so i'm going to stamp the sentiment on here and i'm going to use this coastal cabana yes i see you out there see be sure to say hello leave an emoji or something so this says, that way we get you included when we do our door prize drawings. Wishing you sunshine and smiles. Make somebody's day, right? That's what it's all about creating, is making a difference in somebody's life. And this would be really cute for the kids in the hospital. We make cards and we can send those cards to them. And it's just touching their lives, right? Okay, now I'm just going to put this up with just regular dimensionals. And then we're just going to cut these flowers here and put these flowers on here while the glue dries on the other. That's all we're going to do. And it's just going to be right here. And I'm just going to put it right down here, right? So I'm putting it right here. And we're going to do, we're going to add something to it. So yeah, I did not, I did not put it down so you know I didn't do anything with the little chick, baby chicks. Cute little chick's feet there. All right, so from here... I got the string still drying. So what I did is I just took the flowers here. They come in strings and links like this. And I just took my scissors and I trimmed around it, right? Hi, Pat. Oh, you managed to... Oh. You know what, Pat? I, I'll, I'll get back. To, I'll give you a call in a little while. How about that? Make sure I got the right thing with you. What you misplaced there. Okay, so I'm just placing these out here. And again, I'm just cutting them, right? So I'm just cutting around it just to give it a little bit of a curve so it looks like it just came naturally this way, right? And I'm just going to scatter the flowers out. I actually put a couple over here. And I tucked it so I didn't, I didn't get adhesive on the top of that so I can easily do that. And what I did with this is, is... Because I didn't glue it down, but I wanted to have a little bit of dimension, but not all of it, because I don't have enough room for that. I just took a miniature, mini dimensional, and I just put it behind this one right here. The flower on the right. Okay? Because it'll keep it all in place, and that's what it's about, right? Giving the dimension in this. 
and I just do it right there, right on the edge. Okay, so it'll give it a little bit of height there and so forth. All right, so the other thing I have is just I have another couple little flowers. I'm just making sure I do, do the exact same thing. So I just came around here and I did. I just sort of curved it so it just looks like it naturally went this way. So the key to it is make sure it doesn't have any points, right? I don't want any pointy edges because that doesn't look right because there's nothing that's in here that's pointy edges. So I just sort of curve it around until I get that little point off. So I can easily put the little flowers over here, which I am. I'm going to put it just with lower dimensionals. Down right here. Okay. And I'll just put the flowers down here. So we got flowers here. We'll have flowers here. And then you see on the other one I created, I have some little other little flowers. Those actually are with the Rain or Shine Suite that coordinates with this whole kit. The whole thing looks like it's all made together, right? That's how it coordinates. So I'm just going to put this right in here. Don't know about you, but it's like springtime work and I'm trying to do springtime here. So all I did then is I just took the furthest string here and I just put a little dab of glue on the rabbit's hands so it looks like that string is just coming straight through. Okay, now I'll have to give it a moment to dry. So when I do that, I have to give it a moment to dry. And I'm, I'm fine. You know what I did? I just let mine dangle down, right? The extra string. It's no big deal. And then we just take this other string from the other kites. And I just pulled them together. And you could if you wanted. So there's two choices here. We can either tuck them behind the rabbit's ear here. So rabbit has a big ear. And we can come through and let it look like they're all three dangling, which is fine. I don't have a problem. That's just a lot of string, right? Or we could tuck it behind. So for right now, I'm just going to leave it just like this and let it dry. And then I'm actually going to trim off a couple of those because, you know, that's a lot of string going on there. But it'll work, right? So that all that's left there and that I want to touch up here is adding some of these little flowers. So all I'm going to do is just put a little dab of glue. You don't want a whole lot. Somebody, you know, if it's just keep it squeezing it on something else. If you've got, if it's not coming out for you, because it, it'll once you get it going, it's going to come out. So the key to it is, you know, is keep your lid on it if you're not using the glue. The other tip I would tell you is I usually have the glue always hanging upside down. I mean that as I have my glue hanging like this. I have it in one of my um, cat, my tool caddy here and I just hang it like this and that way the glue is always ready to go. But you got to be sure to clean off and make sure there's nothing like stuck there, right? Okay, so all I'm going to do is come here and add a few more flowers and I just, I just put them here, there and yonder, right? There is no magical anything to it. I can tell you the white ones are going to show up good here on the green because that green really makes them visible. And then we'll just come, we'll spread some around like anything else. We try to do things in odd numbers. Yeah, so I just looked at my finger, right? So you can either use that or we also had the tool. But I just went ahead and used my finger. And the glue will dry clear. All right, let's see. I want to add one more over here. So let's see. This one, two, three, four. I need to add one more to get odd numbers, right? So let's get a yellow one out there. So these are just easy to do, right? It's springtime right now. I don't know where you're where you're at, what it's like, but here, there is all the little wildflowers on the side of the road and everything all popping up. I was in Louisiana, North Louisiana, I should say, last week, and I tell you, there were, you know, little flowers, wildflowers, stuff popping up everywhere. All right, so we, this will all dry, but you can see how that's shaping up, right? So all I'm going to do is, that's just a lot of string going on, so I'm just going to trim some of it. That's all. 
okay? Especially when I get down that second hand. Oops. And I'm going to do the same thing with the kites, right? I can chance, come in and trim, trim the kite here. And we can come to the side over here too. We're just going to trim it on the side like this. And we're going to call it a day. How about that? If you don't want that, I see, there you go. I'm just going to cut it right there. Okay. See? Well, now we have just a cute kite. The only other thing I added to mine was I added a little wink of Stella. Give it a little sparkle. So you can see it's similar to the one I created yesterday. And it's, it's similar to ones I created in the classes that I did. So if you so if you are interested in classes and participating, you just need to sign up for my newsletter. And um, I'll make sure that's out if it's posted right now or not today. Because I'll be getting out a newsletter over the weekend. But there you go. We just have a cute, fun, simple card. If you wanted some sunshine in there, we could turn around and stamp the sunshine and fussy cut it and put it in there. Uh, I didn't pull out the yellow, but we've got we got Mango Melody in the kit. And it goes beautifully with this. So it's so easy to take it. Yeah, I did open mine. I was going to see. See, I give away door prizes, so I had to make sure. Because I always give away different things. I give away stamp sets as well as as well as ink spots and all so i try to keep them to give away for door prizes and use my regular stuff but anyway here you go so if you want this little sunshine here and we want it to stand out we're going to have to pretty much stamp it and fussy cut it so if you're never sure if you want to do something what i do is i'll sit up there and set that aside i'll sit up here and just set it up here and see how i think i'm going to like it so see, as long as I have a little bit of white around this, it'll be just fine because it's going to stand out. Now, I'm going to have to fussy cut it, right, if I want to add it to what I've got on right now. But I just want to give you an idea of how about different looks, right? It's all about choices, all about what you want. And I'm just going to cut around this right now because I'm not going to fussy cut it all because I'm not sure if I want it on here or not. But I want to just at least give you an idea of how you can do different things, right? So I could easily put a sunshine where I appear. I could even do half of a sunshine if I wanted to right over here. So I think I'm going to pass on that because I'm not really wanting that right now. So I hope you enjoyed this. Here is the one I created previously. And I could put bows on that. That was die cut out of the rain or shine. Rain or Shine Sweet. And then this one here is that I did from the kit. And I use the kites. But you can see they're a little bit different, right? But they're similar. So I just did the similar layout and just changed it up a little bit. And I added some different color right here just to give you a different look. So I hope you enjoyed that. Because it's all about showing you how you can take your paper pumpkin kit and not only create what's in the kit itself, but how you can create alternatives. In this particular case, I added some extra um cardstock right so there you go so with that be blessed have an amazing weekend i know it's springtime spring break for others and go out there create and share and if you enjoyed this we would love for you to follow us not only here on facebook but also on youtube and we'll be giving out door prizes soon again on a freebie friday and we'll let you know when we we'll post it out there all right go out there be blessed see you next week bye